Seattle 206723 here, everyone, with a silver update. What we're going to do this evening is shine a light in the dark on a bill that recently took effect here in Washington State concerning precious metals and dealers, and well, mainly secondhand dealers. This was signed into law back in May of this year, and it took effect a couple of weeks ago. We're going to start out with Section 1. The legislator finds the market of gold has increased significantly in recent years, and there's been a proliferation of second-hand dealers, including temporary, transient second-hand businesses engaging in cash for gold, type precious metals transactions. Frequently, these cash for gold type operations are operated by persons desiring to exploit unexpected consumers based on current market conditions. Instead of educating people about precious metals, gold, and silver, they're just going to go ahead, in my opinion, regulate and come up with uh, new laws. This particular law was an addendum and changes in RCW 19-60.010. We're going to move on to subsection 6 of section 1 which tells you exactly who a second dealer is according to the new law. The new law states that means every person engaged in whole or in part in the business of purchasing, selling, trading, consignment selling, or otherwise transferring for value, secondhand property including metal junk, melted metals, precious metals, whether or not the person maintains a fixed place of business within the state. Secondhand dealers also includes persons or entities conducting businesses more than three times per year at flea markets or swap meets. This pretty much covers, in my opinion, a wide, a wide array of people. Now we're going to move on to subsection 8, which gives you a little bit more information in this little highlighted section here. Secondhand property means any items of person, personal property offered for sale which is not new, including metals in any form. Except postage stamps, coins that are legal tender, bullion in the form of fabricated hallmark bars, and it goes on to say books and etc. etc. So therefore, if you're trading or bartering, say one of these guys here, a 50 cent piece, 90% silver, that's included. We're going to move on to section 6 of the bill. Section 6, no secondhand precious metal dealer doing business in the state may operate a business without first obtaining a business license from the local government in which the business is situated. That means if you're selling on, say, eBay, Craigslist, in your home, or any other place, you're going to have to get a license. If you're going to do any trading or selling, you're considered a secondhand dealer in the state of Washington. Let's move on to Section 9. This was actually a, a pretty big one. For the purpose of this section, hosted home parties means a gathering of persons at a private residence where a host or hostess has invited friends or other guests into his or her residence where individual person-to-person -person sales of precious metals occur. The big word in this is occur. That means that this party, a few friends come by, a few drinks, whatever the case may be, and you decide to sell a necklace, or someone says, hey, I like that necklace there, you're going to fall underneath the definition of a second-hand dealer here in Washington State. Now, in order to properly execute that, 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 that buying transaction, 
we're going to have to follow some guidelines here on this subsection 4 of section 9. The secondhand precious metal dealer must include on every receipt the following the name, residential address, telephone number, driver's license number, the person uh, hosting the home party, the name, residential address, telephone number, and, del and driver's license number of the person selling the item. Uh, you need to include the serial number, if any, model number, uh, engraving size, patterns, color of the stones, etc., etc. Basically, you're going to have to, the, the, the big part of this was in section, subsection 5, the, sex, the secondhand precious metal dealer must make four copies of each transaction receipt. One for the seller, one for the host or hostess, one for the purchaser, and one for the local authorities. So there you have it. More draconian laws being passed here in Washington State regulating the people who may or may not choose to sell any precious metals. Those are the new laws attached to the current laws. They have whole in part turned everyone into a pawn broker here. Well, thank you very much for watching. This is Seattle 206723. Uh, bringing the information here to you. If you care to subscribe, please subscribe. Uh, also, rate and comment.